Hello everyone. Uh, once again, I welcome you all to my channel, Technicube. Uh, you are in the three series of uh, fundamentals of cybersecurity. And we were actually understand uh, the uh, port scanning in the previous session. In this session, we will, uh, we will see some tools associated with, uh, you know, port scanning. Uh, so, uh, before I understand, you know, a kind of tool which is used in port scanning, we need to understand something called as three-way handshake of TCP. Actually, you see, if you are not a network guy, then you have to be very clear with that. Uh, TCP and OSI layers and you know the fundamentals of networking you have to be very clear with that so in order to understand you know whole complete port scanning it's a very big topic actually there are books available for that so I cannot take the whole thing but uh, if you want to be you know uh, if you want to understand the port scanning results and analyze that thing you need to understand TCP and TCP three-way handshake it's very important to understand it so let's first understand three-way handshake you see there are in a transport layer i'll start with the very beginning and then we're going to start with you know port scanning so in a transport layer there are two protocol comes up from the very initial i'm explaining you it's a tcp and something called as udp tcp stands for transmission control uh, protocol and it is a user datagram protocol all right so in in tcp so when I say TCP, TCP is basically, it's a connection oriented protocol. It is, you know, people generally say that this is a connection oriented protocol. And why it is, I'll tell you. However, in contrast to that, we are having UDP, which is say it is a connection less protocol. It's a connection less protocol. And what is this connection oriented and connection less? It means if a sender here, if a sender wants to communicate to a receiver with a packet, so this packet cannot directly send it to the receiver. This is not possible. This is not going to be happen in TCP. It's not possible. So the meaning of connection oriented means the sender has to first, it has to first establish the connection. It has to first establish the connection to the receiver and after that he can send the data packet to the receiver okay after this so this connection establishment okay this connection establishment is nothing but connection oriented protocol okay he need to establish the connection first and then he can send the data from one end to another end however in the udp there is nothing like that okay a sender can send a packet directly to the receiver okay and because of that there is no connection and uh, establishment in the UDP there is a reliability issue okay there is a reliability issue why there is a reliability issue because uh, sender will never know that this packet is a reach to the receiver or not okay he, he this will never know that this packet is received or not he, ne he can never know about this however in the case of TCP he can precisely know that this packet is received or not with the help of something called as acknowledgement and that's why it's a reliable protocol here there is a reliability here in the uh, in the tcp there is, there is a reliability why there is a reliability it is because of this acknowledgement however there is no acknowledgement in this okay so this is acknowledgement here the another thing is as you can see that it has to go through this whole connection establishment and also there is connection finish here uh, it will terminate the connection it will come here in, the, in this space uh, we will understand that he had to do that so because of these two overheads this tcp is somehow slow in nature okay this is somehow slow in nature this is a kind of small disadvantage here however in udp as you can see there is you know there is no connection establishment there, there is no connection terminate it is very fast in nature Okay, this is fast in nature and that's why a protocol such as uh, you know uh, the DNS uh, the, these DNS and uh, these kind of DHCP uh, even uh, they, they are using UDP protocol because uh, you know it is not a good idea to have a TCP on such connections D DNS and DHCP otherwise your you know the the fetching of website is going to be take is going to take longer time the response time is going to be very longer so I cannot put this TCP inside the DNS it's not a good idea so instead of that I want a fast protocol which is UDP 
So in port scanning, your ports, most of the port scanning or most of the connections right now in the internet are TCP based. Okay, your whole internet is actually TCP based. So we need to understand the whole process of this three-way handshake. Okay, we need to understand this establishment and the termination. Okay, if you understand these three things and then you go for port scanning, it is going to be very simple. All right. Now it, this is all about the uh, you know small thing on uh, connection oriented. Now when I say connection oriented, again one more time, connection oriented or connection establishment. Let let me write it this way, connection establishment. So what is connection establishment? You see, it's a simple thing. So there is a sender and there is a receiver. There is a sender and there is a receiver. I'm so sorry about this lining. These are a lot of a thing. So how can I do that? Maybe, oh, okay, no, no, this is not what I want. Uh, how can I, yes, this is, okay. So receiver and I'll try my best to have a, uh, not have a good line here, but all right. So now what will happen, you see, when sender wants to send something to the receiver, he need to do something called as connection establishment first, initial, okay, initial point. So he will send something called as SYN packet, which is a synchronization packet to the receiver. It is a SYNC packet. What do you mean by SYNC packet? It says, it, it is the meaning of SYN is, sender says, sender is saying that I want to, I want to connect, I want to connect to the receiver. He is just saying to the receiver that I want to connect to you. Now, to by getting this packet to the receiver, now receiver will reply back. It will reply back with an acknowledgement of this sin. Okay, he will say that I received your sin packet and I am acknowledging you, and I want to connect to you also. So sin a c k. This is the thing. So I am willing to accept. I am willing. To accept. Okay, so after getting the packet here at the sender side, sender will acknowledge these th these things. Sin and ACK. It will acknowledge that I got your packet receiver. I'll got your packet here, and this is going to be a simple ACK. Okay, so it is nothing but a, a kind of okay from both sides. This is this three packets are known as connection uh, three-way handshake three-way handshake and you can say there is a, a three-way handshake here this is a connection establishment by the way this is connection establishment right. this is the thing once they you know once they do this whole three-way handshake your 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 actual data is going to be trans transfer from sender to receiver so this is a data that sender wants to send to the receiver. Once the data has been, you know, received to the receiver, both parties are doing the data exchange. This is data exchange. Once they do that, we need to terminate the connection also, right? So client, after sending the data, client says, I want to now terminate. So he will send something called as finish data. So, sorry, finish, F-I-N, so finish. It's a finish packet. After getting a finish packet so it, it is nothing but a goodbye from client goodbye from client okay so after getting a finish packet receiver says yes now client wants to terminate the connection so he, it will acknowledge this fin packet okay receiver only acknowledge this that yeah i got your fin packet so it is going to be ack fin or fin ack no problem so it is like a goodbye from my side also i'm so sorry i have i think yeah goodbye from uh, receiver okay once sender gets this ack fin packet it will acknowledge again receiver that i got your ack fin packet okay now the termination is connection termination is okay now okay both okay and this three way handshake is no, is going to be known as connection terminate connection terminate and by the way if you see these these 
these things one two three and one two three these are flags if you go ahead and check out your tcp header if you see the tcp header then you will see these are flags inside the tcp header so let me show you the tcp header here it's a tcp header if you can find this uh, maybe 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 this is okay to have you can see here there is a urg urgent packet there is a acknowledgement packet there is a push pack this is a tcp yeah there is a send packet there is a finish packet there is a rst packet you know these are uh, these are the packets or these are the flags which are there in the tcp header and we can precisely use that the uh, these flag here in this three way handshake and three way connection you can see there is a fin flag and we have a fin flag here there is a sin there is a sin uh, fin and there is a sin also and sin has been shown over here there is a ack and you can see there is a ack you can see there is a ack here and there is one more packet is rst is written here you can see rst it's a reset packet if either side what will happen if some error comes up okay if either side some data exchange some some corruptions happen if either side uh, you know uh, they, uh, there is no data exchange happens some data lost is there then a reset packet is going to be sent so uh, that is for that reason so in general this is basically a, a kind of connection oriented of tcp three way uh, handshake with a connection establishment and three way again handshake for connection termination okay so based on this we will understand that how port scanning going to work with the with that application nmap okay so in the next session we will see how nmap works and how we can relate it with the uh, you know cyber security so if you like my video then please hit that like button if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel i thank you for the help and if you are having any question you can please comment in the comment section i would be happy to help you okay and thank you so much for listening thank you guys